I'm gonna teach you how to get good at hitting a baseball. And if you use my framework, the one you're seeing on the screen, you'll start hitting the ball more consistently. You'll hit more extra base hits. And ultimately, you'll get good at hitting a baseball. And I'm gonna prove it to you. If I can't hit seven out of 10 line drives off that pitch machine that throws 90 miles per hour, then one of you will win a pair of these sunglasses worth $200. These glasses have a camera on them that records so you can use them for educational purposes or just to share your story as an athlete. And if you want a chance of winning these sunglasses, all you need to do is hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Because my goal here is to get more subscribers than the NHL and I have a long ways to go, but every subscriber counts. So thank you so much for subscribing and hitting that like button. Now, the last thing you have to do to enter the challenge, you have to comment a number I hit hit somewhere throughout this video below. In the last video, I used number 42. And the reason I use number 42 is because it's my dad's favorite player, Jackie Robinson. And as an honor to him, I wore the number 42 when I was in the Cape Cod League in 2007. So with that being said, now let's get into the educational content, go into my framework, and then we'll do the challenge at the end of the video. Now, if you look at my framework, you'll see that there are six steps. And the first step, is the mental game. That's where everything starts because everything starts in between the ears. They say baseball is mental and it is so true. And before I realized this, I was the player that would go out there putting a lot of pressure on myself, go up to the plate and I would be hesitant to swing or sometimes I would, you know, if I grounded out, I would be mad and frustrated. And there was just so many things that weren't right here that didn't allow me to get good at hitting a baseball. So the first step is the mental side and what I realized is that if you took five minutes before the game to just sit down just sit down in the car it could be on the way to the game if you just took five minutes and visualize close your eyes and just visualize yourself being successful visualize every at bat literally go through the whole game in your head you're gonna be well prepared when you go into that field and that's something that once I started doing it really transformed my game and it's something I highly recommend and something that I share with all my kids so my kids are having great success just taking five to ten minutes before the game and just relax they visualize themselves hitting a baseball in the gap they visualize themselves getting the pitch that they want they go through all their bats they go through their defense and it really gets them on the high so that they can really do well when the game starts so I really recommend that you take some time for yourself before the game that's the most valuable time you'll ever get so the next thing you'll see is a diamond and the diamond stands for a hitting approach. The reason why I have this second is because before this, I was super inconsistent as a hitter. I'm talking about going up to the plate, swinging and missing, swinging at everything. I just wanted to hit. I was super aggressive at the plate. And what that made me become was inconsistent. So when I learned the value of a hitting approach and when I learned what a hitting approach is, that really took my game to that next level because now I could create a process that allowed me to get consistent results. Before I was just flipping a coin, heads or tails, and just guessing. Maybe I would get tails, maybe I would get heads, maybe I would get a hit. But when I came up with the hitting approach, it allowed me to dial in on what pitches that I am looking for at the plate. And that allowed me to get more consistent results because I had a plan before stepping in the batter's box. And that's what a hitting approach is. It's a plan before stepping into the batter's box. Now I know once you get into that batter's box, things can change. But if you have a chance of going in and uh, a plan before, you're giving yourself a way, 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 way more chance of being consistent. And if you wanna work on a hitting approach, one drill that I recommend is the yes, yes, no drill. And they teach this to younger kids, but I also use it at the professional level. And so basically what I would do is I would get into the battle's box and I would drop my bat. <laughs> I would drop my bat and then the pitching machine is going to toss the ball. And before the pitch is even thrown, I'm saying yes, yes, yes. And if it's in my zone where I'm looking, I'll say yes. And if it's not in the zone that I'm looking, I'll say no. So it really trains you to follow that ball all the way in to where you're thinking about hitting. Now I'm gonna give you a default hitting approach and that is middle away. Majority of pitchers are gonna throw middle away, especially at your level. So I would just focus on that and get good at hitting that pitch middle away. A pitch inside, even at the major league level, they don't really throw inside that much. So you don't need to focus on that as being a hitting approach. Yes, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes. Yes, 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 yes. No. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Now the next step, you'll see a person balancing on a tight rope. And the reason why I put that there is because balance is super important when it comes to being a good hitter. Because the goal of a pitcher is to get you off balance. And the goal of a hitter is to maintain their balance. And it took me a long time to understand that. Because when I was younger, I would get up to the plate. Like I said it previously, I'd be super aggressive and I'd be trying to go out and get that ball. I would lunge out there. And what happens is you start lunging, your head moves, that changes the perception of the ball and your base gets messed up. And what happens is that changes your swing. See, everything works from the ground up. So you wanna be balanced as a hitter. You wanna stay balanced. You wanna be in this power triangle when you're hit right where your head's in between your lower half right just like this you don't want to be here and you don't want to be too far back you see how I'm off balance I can't even stay in that position but right here I'm balanced and so when I realized that I really got consistent in hitting I really started to level up my game and that's something that I highly recommend you do and what I started doing was I started to do the catch drill catch drill is one of my favorite drills I've said it a billion times on this channel and I'm going to continue to say it. There's a lot of things that the catch drill does for you that helps you in hitting. And I would recommend that you do this as often as you possibly can. For example, I started doing it with this player, as you see right here on the screen. He would pop balls up. He would miss. His base was messed up. And what I mean, his lower half was messed up. There were just a lot of things going wrong with his swing. And I had him do the catch drill pretty much every day. Got to the point where he got annoyed by it. But it really helped him to transform his game. And look what he's doing now. He's hammering the baseball. He's staying on his backside. He's more consistent. He's letting the ball travel. And he's really turned himself into a good hitter. So I recommend you do the catch drill if you aren't doing it yet. And I would put this into your routine that you can start doing as often as possible. And the next step you'll see is Hank Aaron. The reason why I put Hank Aaron on there is because he has his hands like this and the arrow is pointing to his top hand. And that's what I meant, using your top hand. And the reason why I wanted to use him because He's the person that really threw his top hand to the ball. That resulted to a lot of line drives, that resulted to a lot of home runs, that resulted into a very successful career. And when I was younger, I grew up in an area that really didn't teach baseball that well. They didn't know the things that I know right now. And so when I was playing, there'd be times where I would just hit bloopers to the opposite field, or I'll ground out, I'll roll over a lot. I wasn't driving the ball and I wasn't hitting line drive. And the reason why is because my top hand wasn't being active towards the ball. See, the top hand controls the barrel of the bat and it creates the path of the swing. So if you're training yourself to take your top hand to the ball, you're gonna hit because you're training yourself to get barrel to the ball. And that's what hitting is in a nutshell, right? You're getting a good pitch and you're taking barrel to the ball. And then after that, is out of your control. But good hitting is a person that can get barrel to the ball often, consistently. And focusing on my top hand, that really helped me to do that. So it's something that I highly recommend you do. And the drill that I used to do that I would recommend is doing split grip. All you have to do is just put a gap in between your hands just like this. And what this is going to teach you is to use the top hand and control that barrel. So it's a very great drill, especially if you don't want to do just one hand to the ball, but you could do it this way. I do this with all my younger kids because they struggle with doing it with one hand. I would recommend you just do split grip. That'll teach you how to get barrel to the ball and using your top hand. Now the next step you'll see in the framework is an extension cord. And you've guessed it probably already is getting that extension. See, when I was younger, I would just swing and go in and out of the zone. If I was perfect, I had a line drive, but what I learned was you want to get that extension through that baseball. That increases your bat path, meaning you'll have a longer path. If you're early, you can get a hit. If you're late, you can still hit a line drive. Now, if you're just in and out of the zone, you have to be perfect to hit that line drive. I learned this at a stage when I was at UCLA, and you would think by that time, I would already know about getting extension through the baseball, but I didn't. So I'm at UCLA and I remember one of my teammates came up to me. He's like, hey man, 
you're just in and out of the zone. You're not getting that extension. And we started working on it and I started hitting line drives all across the field, right field left field, center field. And then I started to hit more doubles too. And I didn't have to be on time all the time. Um, it was a beautiful thing. It's something that I focus on with all my players and it helps them to hit more line drives and be more consistent. So I would recommend you do that, work on your extension. And one way I do that is doing the three quarter drill. You just stand right here. What you wanna do is you wanna go right here just like this to the ball. So it's not a full swing. You really wanna focus on just getting the barrel there and going three quarters through the ball. Not a full swing, just three quarters through, but it, it forces you to create that bat path and get that extension the way you want to so you can hit more line drives. Now the last step in the framework could go two ways and it's of two people. You have one person who is looking away and you have the other person who is celebrating. Now let's say you go through all this and you do not get a hit. So you're at the plate, you got your mental game right, you zone into your pitch, you are balanced, you take your top hand to it and you get that extension through it, but you get out. Now, if you did everything in the sequence right and you hit the ball hard, that's when you have to deny it. You have to turn that hand and say, I won. That doesn't define me. Because what I learned to be a good hitter is that you need to think about processes and not results. And if you think about results, then you're going to put a lot of pressure on yourself and you're going to struggle. But if you think about processes, you did everything in the framework right, but you got out. That's not you. You are a winner. You hit the ball hard. And that's what you need to say to yourself. And it took me a long time to understand the mental side of it. When it comes to the first person you'll see, you don't want to hold on to bat at bats. You don't want to hold on to strike out. You want to turn your head and look forward to the next at bat. You want to pump yourself up and get ready to go out there and do damage and get him in the next at bat. That's why you see two guys. The first one is deny and the second one is celebrate. Now, here's the thing with celebrate. Let's say you did the framework and you got on base. Right there, you need to say, that's who I am. This is the player I am. I hit line drives. I get on base all the time. I'm consistent. This is what I do. You have to build yourself up. As baseball players, we easily tear ourselves down, but we never build ourselves up. And the best time to do it is right after you have some success. If you hit the ball and you get a base hit, if you get a double, if you hit a home run, you're telling yourself, I'm the man. Now you don't have to say it out loud and say, ah, I'm the man and tell it to everybody else. You could just say it in your head like, I'm the man. Yes, I'm good. I'm the best player on this team. You're saying that to yourself and what that does, that lifts you up and then the next at bat, what happens? You get another hit. You keep telling yourself that and you keep telling yourself this and what happens? You turn yourself into a good baseball player. Now, that's the framework and it takes time to be able to get good at baseball. But if you do all this, you would definitely get good at baseball. And I'm gonna show you, cause right now I have a challenge cause I have to hit seven out of 10 line drives off this pitching machine. And if I don't hit seven out of 10 line drives, one of you are winning a pair of these glass. But you have to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you have to comment the number in which I hit somewhere throughout this video. Now the moment we've been waiting for. Seven out of 10 line drives. Let's get it. Whew. I got this. I got this. Whew. Lock it in, baby. I'm gonna take this first pitch, okay? I'm gonna take it. Okay, that's a good pitch to hit. Let's do this. One. Two. Three. Nope. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Flawless victory. Flawless victory. If you enjoyed this, 
you like this video over here it's similar to this video it's gonna help you to with your swing we'll get back to hitting <sighs> nah pop that one up yeah boy thank you guys 